What is up everyone, welcome back to another video today, and in this video we are doing the 17th installment of Random Model Airports. Today we are going to be doing Myrtle Beach International Airport. No suggestions were made for this airport, at least none that I found, but if you did make a suggestion for this airport in the past and I missed it, let me know in the comments and I will pin you so that way people know that you made a suggestion for this airport. Hopefully I'll return to viewer suggestions here in the future. I'm just kind of doing random ones I like to pick out every now and then just to make sure it's not like, you know, the same kind of airport and all that stuff. So um, in this case, Myrtle Beach is pretty exotic, actually, for random model airports as Spirit is featured here. So you can see them down there. There's actually two aircraft over at that concourse and then got a couple Southwest, a couple Delta. So a little bit of everything here. Um, except United, so that's a little interesting. They actually do have a CRJ200 service, but I couldn't feature it just because they would be occupying gates that are already occupied by existing aircraft. So go ahead and get started at the Alpha Concourse, which is over here, and then we'll jump over to the Bravo Concourse. So in total, there's about, looks like there's five over here, and we got nine over here, um, or actually four, and the total would be nine. So we'll start over here at Gate Alpha 1. At Gate Alpha 1, we have this American Eagle CRJ-900 operated by PSA Airlines. This aircraft arrived in from Philadelphia at 10.12 a.m. ahead of a scheduled 10.28 a.m. arrival. At Gate Alpha 3, we have this Spirit Airbus A321. This arrived in from Newark at 7.29 p.m. ahead of a scheduled 8.04 p.m. arrival. At Gate Alpha 2, we have this American Airbus A319. This aircraft arrived in from Charlotte at 8.01 a.m. ahead of a scheduled 8.20 a.m. arrival. Paired up with the A319 here at Alpha 4 is this American Airbus A320 with the very dark colors. You can very well see the comparison here between the A319, which was released in about 2016, and the A320 that was released in 2020. So, yeah, very dark colors, not the way that you want your American A320 model to look. So hopefully somebody else will do it, or they might even do a CFM release. Um, mostly Gemini in this case, but Panda models or even NG, if they get a mold made, they could do it as well. Possibly with much better colors, because again, this gray color, not what I like. So once that gets released, I'm gonna go ahead and sell the two examples I have, because obviously I had to buy a second, due to the fact that the first one was missing nose wheels, and the second did have it, but had but this one had a much larger paint crack on that starboard wing. But here at Alpha 4 is this American A320, arriving in from Dallas-Fort Worth International at 3.26 p.m., um, delayed from a 2.39 p.m. scheduled arrival. So this is a little bit under an hour or so delay. This is about 45 minutes, give or take. Um, of a delay compared to the scheduled arrival for this aircraft. At Gate Alpha 5 is this Spirit Airbus A320neo. This is the first time that this aircraft has been featured outside of the Skippy Town Airport updates. This aircraft arrived in from Fort Lauderdale at 11.07 a.m., a little bit behind a scheduled 10.55 a.m. arrival. And that is all the aircraft here at the Alpha Concourse. We'll jump on over to the Bravo Concourse. At Bravo 1 is this Delta 717. This aircraft arrived in from Atlanta at 12.02 p.m. ahead of a scheduled 12.17 p.m. arrival. At Bravo 2 is this Delta A320 also paired up with the Delta 717. So Delta, I believe, does occupy these two gates here at Myrtle Beach. This aircraft also arrived in from Atlanta at 9.55 a.m. ahead of a scheduled 10.12 a.m. arrival. At Gate Bravo 3 is a Southwest 737-800 in the Hart livery. This aircraft arrived in from Pittsburgh at 2.17 p.m. ahead of a scheduled 2.30 p.m. arrival. At Gate Bravo 4, to round out the update, is a Southwest 737-700 with splits. The exact aircraft that was used on this flight was one with a blended winglet configuration still. As I said before, I do have the Waffle Collectibles Southwest 737-700 heart livery with the blended winglets on order. Hopefully they'll be arriving by Christmas, so that'll be very exciting to have. This aircraft arrived in from Baltimore at 9.44 a.m. ahead of a scheduled 9.55 a.m. arrival. And that is it for Random Island Airports here at Myrtle Beach. Scooting back over onto right around the spot where I started here. Um, pretty nice airport. I do like the, the cool layout here with this airport. So you got this one concourse over here. And then you have the second concourse right over here. Only three gates that were not occupied in this update. In this case, that was Bravo 5 and Bravo 6 over here. 
and then alpha 6 right here so again only gates that were not occupied so model news that I want to report on here, just throwing this in at the end of this airport update. Um, I did see that Aero Classics released a FedEx and UPS Airbus A300. Yes, I was able to order both of them, and I will be getting the FedEx here pretty soon. Hopefully, they'll be on the way um, by the start of this week, so back on Monday. This is going on on Friday, so I'm not entirely sure if it's going to be here right around the time the Random Model Airport video goes out, which obviously is on Fridays at noon. So hopefully I will have that in my hands uh, before the end of the, the week that this airport update is going out. But hopefully I will be able to provide further updates in the event that something is to happen with the order, if it gets delayed or if it's already on the way and it's going to be here pretty quickly. So very happy that Aero Classics did that. They're usually not known to do very many modern aircraft. I did also see that they released a A320neo and A321 of Frontier. I did not pre-order those because I already have one of each in my collection. Specifically, that A320neo is also from Aero Classics, just an older release, and then I have the Gemini A321. I'm still waiting for NG to do that Frontier A321. Not sure if they just kind of forgot about it, or if Gemini's release just kind of made them not do it, but that really shouldn't be the case because NG and Gemini sometimes do the same models just like either within the same month or like one month before or after each other. It just kind of depends. So yeah, I should have the FedEx A300 in my hands pretty soon, and then the UPS will come later. That was... The, the UPS will come later. Um, hopefully I'll have that in my hands by Christmas. I, the reason why I'm doing this is because I really want the FedEx um, at an earlier date because I really, really need a FedEx A300. Um, for UPS A300, um, obviously I can still use my 7.5 or 7.6 um, or anything else that I have in my collection. Still need to pick up like an MD-11 of each as well, so I will try to look into that as well. And uh, yeah, that's all I have for model news here, um, at least for new models that I have ordered. So hopefully... The FedEx will be here soon. So with that being said, that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.